Hi everybody, it's Karen in the craft room. I haven't uh, done any videos in quite a while and I uh, was feeling the itch. It's spring has sprung during COVID and I uh, just wanted to do some fun things. I've been hanging out in the craft room doing different jobs and well, trying to clean it up, but really just crafting. So <laughs> my room is a bit of a mess, a little disorganized, but let's have fun anyways. Um, today we're going to work on some Easter bunnies. Uh, I have some bunnies that I got at um, dollar stores. So I have this one here, a little ceramic one, $2. Uh, this guy here with a little baby. I don't know why he looks like he's wearing lipstick, but he, she, I guess she is. Um, $4 for that one. And just this simple little bunny from the garden section, actually, at the dollar store. And that one was also $4 at um, Dollarama. So, and in the past, I've had some smaller bunnies as well. So, with this ceramic bunny, there's a few things you can do with it. I usually uh, get out my chalk paint and just paint it a solid color. So, when you do that, it will look like this guy here. Just a solid white. You could do pastel pink, you could do the greens, whatever you like. I just think it looks a little bit classier than that. Um, also with that one, I have Mod Podged with napkins. This little guy right here. Um, so just paint, give him a little splash of paint, any paint, doesn't have to be chalk paint. Paint first because it is a little transparent. Um, if there's a lot of color on there, if it's pretty white like mine were, you don't have to do that. But there you go, different options. These guys sit up on my mantle. I also have these little cute small ones uh, that I had painted, uh, more of a, a gray, light gray, and then I just dry brushed them with a brown just to give them a little bit of punch. And they also sit on my mantle and look really cute. Another one that I've done, and I did it with this small bunny here, was to use um, moss. And <laughs> because he's so small, it does look a little funny, but he's just like a little, it's hard, maybe a little bit hard to tell he's a bunny. So I'm gonna try that with um, this guy today. I'm gonna do the moss with this guy, and we're gonna mod podge this one. So you can choose whatever you want. Um, dollar stores are really the best for that. So because I did say that if it has a lot of color on it, when you Mod Podge, you will see that color come through. So we're first, before we get too far started, we're gonna slap some paint on this guy right here. I'm just using um, the Crafters Acrylic from Dollar Store. You can, you can use any paint that you like. Acrylics are good. Also the chalk paint is good. I prefer, because chalk paint can be a little bit more expen expensive if you get the Rust-Oleum. Um, that uh, I just use that for when I see it, not for under stuff. So we are just going to put some paint on this guy. Gal, I guess with her cute little baby. And I'm just gonna try to do this as quick as I can because these crafts might take a little bit longer. But you can even follow along if you have supplies. So I just have a big sloppy brush here for this. Um, today I'm also using Mod, Mod Podge, which you can get at the dollar store in the small containers or you can get bigger ones. That's all I'm using today. And with that, I'm using a, a children's paintbrush that I can wash or I can throw away after, depending how gucky it gets. Okay. So, so many things um, that I'm excited about for spring. It just feels much better, especially during these COVID times, to see the sunshine, get a little bit of warmth, see the grass. So I've uh, this week I've made two wreaths and I'm going to be doing a wreath craft class. Uh, and I also did up my fireplace mantle with spring things that I had from before, like my bunnies. And I did a, a beautiful two-tier uh, floral, which I did get an order for. So perhaps I could do that video as well for you to show you. So this guy is very ridged. So I'm hoping that 
when we Mod Podge, it's not too, too bad. But because I'm using floral napkins, um, I find with Mod Podge, it doesn't really matter if there's texture to it. I think it looks even better. So I didn't want to do this guy, gal, in the moss because she's holding the baby and it's small I didn't think it would look right after my experience with the smell of bunny so there we go we're almost there sorry this is taking a while and it doesn't have to be full coverage we're just just so we don't get too much of the color coming through And then we will, you will need for your moss one, um, uh, your glue gun and glue sticks. If you happen to know anyone who missed my birthday or just really like me and want to give me a gift, I'm still on my wish list. I want that cordless glue gun. I feel a little restricted with my cord. <laughs> and my glue guns are just dollar store glue guns, so they're not the greatest, but they certainly work and um, I use them almost every time I craft. So they are uh, definitely usable, but um, I, think I'm, I think I'm ready for a higher grade. So like I said, if you happen to know someone who missed my birthday, because it was a big birthday, then you could, you could put that on my list. So here we go with Bunny. I got a little bit of paint on my fingers. That's a-okay. There we go. I just want to make sure I get his lipstick off. And there we go. So I'm just going to put that aside. Um, on my table, just to show you, I'm using puppy pads on my table. They're fantastic because you can make a big mess on them and then fold them up and throw them away. Um, you can also reuse them in COVID times for emergencies. Uh, but I also use them in my garden pots in the bottom. Um, and then you put soil on it and it helps retain the moisture. That was a secret my mother gave me, but it wasn't puppy pads that she recommended. So this little guy, we are going to Mod Podge. Uh, I'm going to use napkins today. This is a different one from the other one that I did. These napkins, dollar store, $1.50. Um, there's 20 of them. They're three ply. I always check what ply they are because you need to pull the plies apart. And sometimes you feel like there's, you've got them all and you don't. And the reason we pull the plies apart is if I were to just use this whole napkin on the bunny with the Mod Podge, it would start to bubble up and you'll get the, the bottom layer sticking and nothing else. So we are going to remove the plies. Like I said, there are two. This is um, an activity that is very similar to what I think um, grocery store employees enjoy watching people do during COVID is the produce bags. So it is a little bit tough. I started this one already because I didn't want you to see my struggle. Um, so I'm pulling these. There's two plies here. Pull them both off. Also great for COVID emergencies. Wipe your fingers during your craft. Definitely can be reused. So. I've got these napkins here. I am going to just, it doesn't matter how you cut them. They can be cut in squares, in strips, big pieces, little pieces. I think because this one I did little pieces, um, I think this guy will probably do a little bit bigger and I hope that um, everything sticks. And we're going to do that one after we do the moss so got my napkins all ready for my bunny with the baby sorry that was the bunny with the baby i got a little confused there and this one's going to be the moss baby <laughs> like i told you everything's scattered in here so for moss i just picked up a package of moss um at the dollar store this one was four dollars for a sheet i'm sure you can get it less expensive in other areas but for the look we're going i think it's great um, it, this is messy. This is where you definitely want that puppy pad or um, tablecloth down. Whatever. So, sorry, I forgot that we were drying the white bunny for the 
Mod Podge, and this one was the moss. So now that I got my head back on straight, <laughs> it's a rare moment that it's on straight. So this looks kind of yucky and gross, but when it's on, it will be cute. And this is also where I have my glue gun with a cord. <laughs> And we're just going to start, you, you can cut them in smaller pieces. These ones are actually not bad little, they get broken off into bad little, uh, big little chunks. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to just put some glue on. In a random spot, I already need a glue stick. When you use hot glue, you do need to work a little bit faster. I'm going to... Put, the, put more of a straighter edge on the bottom there and just push it on. And I've got all this still. I didn't know how big my piece was. So let's move that paint out of the way there. And so now I can come. Just lost my glue stick. <laughs> it's a great day. <laughs> And I'm going to just push that on like that, you can see. And my little bunnies, because my decor on my mantle has gotten a little bit bigger, um, I think that these bigger bunnies will be great. Uh, they also will be great in a window display. This glue stick's not quite hot enough yet. We can start there. I've got this little piece here. Remember to press down. If you need to stick some glue in between here, you can. I'm just gonna press that down before the glue dries. You can go, you can go back in here. The head of your glue tip, the silver part that gets very hot, will probably get some moss on it. That's okay. Um, just don't rub it off until it's cooled. That is your safety hazard, and for the kids, you know not to touch that part. Okay, so still got a bit of a flap going here. Add more glue. Really inexpensive way to get some of those nice items that you see at the higher end stores um, that look fantastic, but you think, why? I can't. I can't justify spending the money on something that's just like that. So. That's why I love these little dollar store crafts. Just going around his tail here. Um, that's why I love these dollar store crafts that give you that look and lets you say, hey, I made that and it feels pretty good. And you're looking up at your displays and can enjoy them even more so knowing that you created it. So I'm continuing to go around the bottom here. If there's some spots that are Glue gun's not happy. Put some glue in here. Um, if you have some spots that are a little bit bare, we can go back after and fill them. Um, I'm up another glue gun here just in case. I'm going to turn one of the lights off to, to get in there. There we go. Two going, and what I've already put on is probably dried. That happens. Nothing we can't work around, nothing we can't fix, right? Like I said, this um, will make quite the mess, you can see. On mine, I've already got a lot there. But this guy's looking great so far. You can still, well, we haven't got to the head, but you can still tell he's a bunny. I'm waiting for this other glue stick to heat up. Crafts are not quite going the way I would like them to today, and I apologize for that. Um, but I would love to hear from you if you are doing some uh, craft ideas on your own, especially for spring. I've got so many ideas on the go right now to where it gets a little bit 
overwhelming that you don't have enough time to do them all when you want to do them. There we go. I just needed a glue stick on it and a push. So let's start with that. It is important to get that on that glue right away. Glue gun glue dries quickly and then we'll knot it here. Um, and you're using, for this, the glue gun is just fine. For some things, like when you are putting a, uh, the foam piece in the bottom of your flower planter or whatever, you might want to use a regular white glue, um, or any type of uh, ad ad really adhesive glue, and then your glue gun. The glue gun, in those cases, is more of a quick fix, and... Uh, a quick hold and the um, white glue is more of a long-term adhesive so I've got a big groove here around the leg and the glue gun that's giving me a hard time so I'm gonna just push it in as much as I can so we can still see the form of the bunny we don't want to lose too much form but that's looking really great as you can see so I do have another big piece here that I will try going up the front of him get another glue stick um, I do try to get most of my craft supplies like I've said at the dollar store um, because you can really upcycle so many things there I go through and I uh, I have upcycled even their containers for uh, utensils. Uh, I know that I used to have this utensil jar that was very small, didn't hold all my utensils on the counter. And so there I purchased uh, a larger container. I, don't, I think it was for, now I'm trying to think, flour maybe, and just repurposed it all, mod podged it, painted it, made it look fantastic and it sits on my counter with my regular utensils in it. So, so many things you can do that are practical as well, which is great. So, I hope that everyone is getting through this COVID. It has not been fun. We've been feeling very isolated. I know a lot of you have and I have too. But, uh, this spring weather is really helping get us back on track. Don't forget that um, through all of this, that your own personal happiness and well-being is very important. And, you know, some people may not see crafting as a necessity. It makes me pretty happy. My mental um, health is important as well. Remind my husband on. <laughs> so we've got all around the feet here and the floppy face. So this is where you, you do really need to press into those grooves and edges so that he will still have the form that he should look like a bunny. And don't worry if you miss a spot, if your piece doesn't fit, you can just piece it in. That's the great thing about this. Now you may find different moss. This moss right here all came from the same package is much more green. This is more brown up here. I think it makes it look um, more natural. Not that this is a natural object, but um, it doesn't look as pre-made. And said you can patch pieces in as well. I've got a piece right here that just kind of is hanging and I have a gap here so perfect. Shoot some glue in there and just press that piece in. Presto. <laughs> you do require quite a few glue sticks for this if you are using inexpensive small glue gun like myself. Nothing wrong with that. It works. And that's a great thing is anybody can do these 
I guess they come from the dollar store. They're not expensive to do, yet fun. I like to do crafts like this with my little sister through Big Brothers Big Sisters program. Um, if you don't know anything about it, check it out. It, I thought I had something to give to a little that would be fun, and she has completely changed my life, and I couldn't be happier. So, um, something to look into if you have a little bit of time. You only really need an hour a week. So, we are definitely getting there. I'm going right over his, her, his or her eyeballs, even. And I do. So I have gone through my one package for this size bunny, and I do need a little bit more. I found the small bunny, took probably just as much. I went over a package in it, um, and this was what was left over in the second package. So I think it was just because he was small and had more grooves, where this guy is a bit um, bigger and more area, but less of the grooves to go through. We'll see how he turns out. I'm excited about getting him up on my mantle. So I did break off a piece. I need I can see I need to break off more. Some of it's a little bit thick, you can see here. Um, and if it's too thick, you can just pull some of the back off. Be careful because this will just all pull apart like that. Okay, so I got a good chunk here and I'm starting to dry. So I'm gonna go in there and press it. You do get those gluey strings, just pull them off as you go. Be careful of hot glue. Usually when I do a craft class that includes hot glue, there's always someone who burns himself. And I have to say that with the amount of crafting I do, that you wouldn't think that I would burn myself anymore, but I do. I think I get a little quick on the go here. So, like I said, my glue gun is getting very messy. Not going to touch that tip. And this is why I'm putting the glue on the bunny and not on the moss, uh, because the moss is very, very messy. You find that your fingers are getting sticky. Once the glue has dried, just roll it off. It's fine. You're going to have moss all over the place too. So here we are with his face already. And so we just have the top part left to do. We're almost done. And I think he's looking great. generous with your glue don't don't be shy okay. um, it's not like white glue where it's going to ooze all out the more you have of this the more it will hold and you just got to be a little bit quick you don't have to rush rush but you um, want to have your stuff kind of ready so that when um, you do go to glue you're not it's not drying on you okay so I'm getting it into an ear here just gotta push that glue with my thumb. It's probably not quite hot enough yet. So I'm gonna pull a little bit more off. This is a little bit thick for his ear, so I'm pulling the back piece off, which can also be used again if you need some little brown spots filled in. It's all good. And don't worry about it fitting exactly. I'm I am just folding it over as I go, filling it in. Coming together very nicely. I'm quite happy with this guy. So I don't really know how much these would go for in the store, but a lot more than I can afford. So I do appreciate um, still having it at a much less expensive price, but also that I've made it and I do take pride in the things I make. It makes me very happy to create. I did get some glue in my finger, not going to touch it yet. it cools a bit and it's actually going to drip off and it's cooled a bit and I can roll it off. Don't touch it too soon or you'll end up burning another finger. So there we go. We still have some things hanging out here and that actually is a little bit long so we're going to pull a little bit off and that works. 
And as you can see, I am going through quite a few glue sticks on this. This is uh, not the greatest glue gun. I, I've had a few from the dollar store. My this one, my pink one, is a bit better. It comes out a lot easier and a bit more work because I just got that one on my finger. If you are afraid to touch the hot chew, you can also use just a little um, popsicle stick or something to help press if you're worried about your fingers. So let's get this moving right along here. Yeah, this glue is coming out faster. Those are the pieces that I've already gone through. Take a little bit off the back. And if you could see my workspace now, it is a disaster. <laughs> I have locked the cats out on purpose because it is covered. And um, they love to help with the crafts. They were in here earlier. The older cat just happy to sit and be and watch and touch a few things. The kitten uh, pretty much destroyed everything I had out. So he's a diver and a chaser and a knocker over. <laughs> <laughs> crafting a, anything with him is a lot of fun lately do you need a stick for this one so yes another dollar store glue gun but this one seems to work much better um, you don't have to buy an expensive one to get the job done that was a bit of the underside of the ear so I use more of the brown piece because I don't see it as much And just another little bit to fill, watching my fingers. You'll notice he's pretty fuzzy and fluffy, so we can, once it's a little bit more dry, squeeze it in a little bit more, flatten him out if that's the look you want. If you like him fuzzy and rustic, that's great too. So we just have this back part of him under this ear, which could probably use some of the ones with a little bit more brown on them, still some green, a little bit more brown. And I did get a glue chunk in there, that was probably the drippy one from my finger. <laughs> so there we go. And let's I think I'm working faster than my glue can heat up my glue. So it might be good that I've got two on the go here. So now I've got one big piece left. And so of the bunny um, projects, this is probably one of the more expensive ones with this uh, being uh, $4. I'm just trying to see if I'm going to go this way. Uh, for a package, and I've used a package and a half. So it's probably a little bit more, and the bunny was $4. So, but still, I don't think you can buy that buy this for that price plus not only do you get to say hey I made that but you have fun doing it too so you can see here I have a, a big line it's a little bit thicker this was the last little piece I had so I'm just going to pull back a little bit here and I'm going to make sure I have some hot hot glue and there we go and that's it. I'm just working faster than my glue gun, so probably good to have two on the go. And I'm going to press that down, the thicker part. And I still have this pulled back a bit, as you can see. So I'm going to throw some glue in there. And push it up like that. If you need a couple little filler pieces to fill it in, you can. I've got, oh, my finger's out. I've got the piece that's sticking out over here, so I'm just going to pull that down. You just don't want any of those great big lines. So I've got a big line over here as well. It's where it's a little bit thicker and that brown part of the moss has attached and the green hasn't. So just a little bit more glue. That's all it takes. And I'm going to rub my hands off here. 
little bit so I don't get moss everywhere. And then I'm going to press them all down. I do see a blank spot on his ear. So I have a few scrap pieces. What's left on my table here is just brown. So a few little scrap pieces here just to fill in those spots that we said we might need to fill in at the end. And like I said, make sure you get all these little ends that are hanging out. Push them down. So as you go around and push down on your bunny, you can see I have a bit of a line here. Pull back, a little bit more glue, and then kind of pull over and down and push. And that one I really just burnt my finger on. That might be where the popsicle stick comes in. Fantastic. So there we go, pulling off any extra bits here. And you may want to go around the bottom again too, if it needs more on the bottom, if you can see any. Probably around there I will, but um, there you have it. There's our bunny. I think he looks, okay, let me push that in so we can see the ears more. I think he looks a little bit better than this guy, but even if they were side by side, you could, could see how they are. So there is your one bunny, your moss bunny, and uh, it's lots of fun. So I'm going to save my bigger pieces because if I ever do a craft like that again, sometimes you just need bits, and those are the bits. So that's going to go aside. My vicious glue guns. <laughs> And here is my mess. This whole, I can show you, great big mess there. So I am going to just fold up this puppy pad. It's got moss on it. I could save it and use it in the bottom of a planter um, outside. That would work. Um, like I said, for a COVID emergency, you never know. Let me put that over there. So I also have another puppy pad here. This one I've already been painting on and can reuse it so that's fine so now we will get to our Mod Podge and my bunny may still be a little bit wet in spots he is that's okay you can use a hair dryer or a heat gun um, or you could even well maybe I'll just you can also um, just start because it's just white paint so I have a Mod Podge like I said you can buy the smaller bottles at the dollar store I usually just work right out of my jar, but I'm going to pour it onto um, probably need a bit more than that. Onto a little plate to make it easier while I show you. And this was the little guy that I did before, and he is really cute, cutting those in small pieces. So I'm going to take my already pulled apart plied napkins because I got ahead of myself before. And I'm just going to cut them. They don't have to be cut straight, they don't have to be um, even in a straight line, these ones are all. And I've got just two napkins on the go right now. We'll see if I need more, and then you can watch me try to um, unply them. <laughs> like you're at the grocery store in the produce section when they open the bags. Uh, so I'm just going to cut these all a little bit bigger pieces than I used on the other one. This one I just cut, but it was folded. So I may just cut that in half. This one is really pretty with the peachy pinks and the greens. So I'm just going to take a very inexpensive brush. You can use uh, any brush that you want, a sponge, anything. I find these are really great. I really don't care about them. You get the odd hair off them. Um, so they're better for Mod Podge than they are for painting. On this, again, I'm going to start on the bottom of his, her, I guess it's, well, we don't know nowadays, do we? this cute bunny holding the baby and I'm just going to slap some Mod Podge on there and take a piece and just lay it over like that then I'm going to start pushing it down now when you use napkins they are very thin they can rip I don't stress about that this is also going to be a bit of a fold over bit big 
So I'll even just cut it as I go there. And as long as it's kind of laid down a bit, then you take your Mod Podge and just go over top. And it seems to be adhering pretty good onto these ridges. I wasn't too sure. The, the small one that I did was the ceramic one and didn't have ridges, but this is not too bad. So that big piece just covered a little bit of area, but it looks really pretty. And we're just gonna keep going. Uh, adding nothing neat about the Mod Podge. You can go over the other piece. This is why um, doesn't matter what size the pieces are, you're not matching anything up here other than just covering. So I've even overlapped a bit, that's okay. But you can see why once we put this top layer on, it the napkin does become quite sheer. And so uh, with that, we are glad that we paint it under so you don't see <laughs> the bunny's lipstick. <laughs> Not sure what they were thinking when they made that, uh, but I am really hoping to have this one on my mantle. I think this one is super sweet and I love the colors of these napkins. The, um, like I said, dollar store napkins just go through a boot through their little bin there. And some napkins I would probably not even buy to um, have for serving in my home. I am very much a napkin person, love napkins. Husband, not so much, he prefers the paper towel. Um, but I have a bit of a weakness for napkins now, and since I've been Mod Podging even more, I have a basket of a variety of napkins, use some for serving, and I always save, you know, a handful of them for Mod Podge at any time. So, I don't really recall doing anything like this when I was younger. We did paper mache and that kind of thing, but I do recall my mother using those swan planters and mod podging those, um, but she used fabric. So I do have a little bit of a spot in here that's vacant and that's okay because I can overlap. You need to be very careful when you're brushing the mod podge on that you're not too rough too firm with it uh, because the napkins very easily rip and as your fingers get sticky and you're touching it more you will rip some that's okay don't panic my little one had so many spots that I had ripped off with my sticky fingers and um, just little pieces over top to fix because you're overlapping there's no specific pattern so we are looking great here and I'm gonna on the back side. Like I said, once you start touching the Mod Podge, it, it, your fingers are sticky, your object is sticky, you're ripping the paper, um, that kind of thing. So I did have some really pretty pastel papers that I had purchased as well at the dollar store, gold mine there, and another weakness paper. And um, I considered using that for this. I think the paper would be too thick. I don't think it would go over as well, um, especially over all these ridges. So I went with the napkin. Other things you can use, tissue paper. You need to be careful though that the tissue paper color doesn't run as you're going. Uh, material, like I said, material is always a great, great one as well. So here we go. I can hear phones in my background. If, if there's obviously an emergency alert. So um, I'm not ignoring it. I know that my husband was taking a look at it. So um, here we go. And for this bunny, the big pieces are nice. I, I'm not, uh, it's not going to take as much time as if I was using little pieces. So, and I'm even going over the bottom a little bit. Like that's just gonna fold over and I'm just going to do the glue on top there. As I say, I just slap it all on. If your fingers get too sticky, take a moment to wipe them off, usually just even washing them and coming back. Um, because the more dry things you touch, the <laughs> stickier we seem to get. And if you cut 
cover a big area. Make sure you're putting them on the right way. Some, some of them, um, once you've got all those plies out, it's hard to tell. I've even just put two on at one time. And then just go over top with the Mod Podge. I constantly say Mod Podge. I know it's Mod Podge, but um, some habits just are harder to break. <laughs> So some other um, Easter I, or spring ideas I've had. Last year I did the bunny frame. That was great. I did that with my little sister. We did that and I posted a video of that. So if you are looking for a super simple, even kids Easter craft to do, check that out on my channel. Um, I've done two wreaths, as I said. One was a tulip wreath and just turned out beautiful. Uh, a lot, uh, far more expensive to, to make than my other spring wreath. For some reason, tulips, the artificial tulips, are more expensive and they are definitely harder to find. When I was purchasing mine, I thought I had got all the colors, and the cashier said, "You're the second person to come through today and buy all my tulips." And she said that the other woman bought all the orange ones. And I said, "Well, I guess that's why." I don't have any orange in my cart. And she said that she was, the other woman was making a carrot wreath. So yes, I, I definitely had my eyeball on doing that as well. Probably could have if the lady at the store hadn't bought all the orange tulips, but good on her. I'm sure next time I hit the dollar store, there will be some and I could try that out too. Um, spring is just such a beautiful time very cheery colors and things after a long cold COVID winter where we feel like we haven't been able to do anything. At least now we can get outside comfortably. So my fingers are very sticky because I cut this when it was folded. I had to open it up. It's a good sized piece. And now I'm going over the baby as well. And I just lightly put it on like that. And then my brush is going to get into all the grooves. Let your brush do the work, not your fingers so much, and then it's a little less sticky for you. If you need to press spots that you don't really want to get sticky, use that popsicle stick again. There you go. I'm loving the colors on this one. Did miss a little piece down here. Not a problem. I drop pieces on the floor. I do apologize that this video is a lot longer. I hope that you're just working along with me and not sitting bored watching. Um, that's certainly not my intent. Some things do take a little bit longer to do and I wanted to do both bunnies in one video for you. Uh, I think they'll both look fantastic together as well. This bunny caught my eye. I don't think he was in the Easter section. I think he was in the garden section as well, the bigger ones. The small ones were in the Easter section of the dollar store. Um, so make sure you check your garden section as well because they have all those things. And you can continue with this guy in the summer, put him out by outside. Um, you know, he is a garden thing. You put him in your garden, on your porch. Um, and in, in spring seems to be such a fast, fast season that we don't get to enjoy the things that we're making quite as long. We feel it really kind of incorporates around Easter, I guess. Um, but start them early and try to keep them as long as you can to enjoy. Just slapping that on. Another, I'm loving these big pieces. Some of them I cut probably smaller than I should have because he can take a big piece. The um, napkins I'm using are patterned, so it doesn't matter how big the pieces are. If you are using more than one napkin, um, type of napkin, like a, a colored pattern, that's great too. Just keep an eye on where you are putting what. Now, I know his ears were wet earlier. They're much drier now, so that's great wasn't overly concerned about putting Mod Podge on wet paint. Um, you don't want it to be gobbed on and try to do it. But if it's still a little damp, that's okay. So uh, I'm just going to put 
that one in there. And I'll just even do the second one. Go save myself since I've already got my Mod Podge on. And just over top, I'm getting right in between his ears here. Her ears. Whoever's ears. So this, I'm thinking this, I'm really liking this one, that he will continue into the summer season for me, either in my street and porch or out by the pool or pond. I think it will look fantastic. Why not enjoy these things that we're making? Now, another thing too is if you are uh, at the dollar store and you get the plastic eggs, and boy, they have tons. They have white ones that you can paint. They have small, they have large. Definitely think about adding those to your decor. I do have quite a few of them. And I, you can paint them with regular paint. You can paint them with chalk paint. And then I just took a toothbrush and flecked them with some black or brown or gray paint. This one, I put a little toothpick in so it can sit in my floral display without um, rolling right away when the cat swats it. So. so I did. We're getting around to the front now, which is exciting again getting into the ends and I still have lots as you can see napkin left I probably might have even been able to get away with one napkin on this but uh, I got a whole pack for a dollar something so I'm not being you don't need expensive napkins to get a great look that's for sure um, you could probably also use wrapping paper might be a little bit thick um, Probably not as thick as some of the scrapbook paper, but it's also doable and there's lots of pretty things. This would also, as I'm looking at the colors, um, a friend of mine just had a baby. This would be really cute in a baby's room with these colors. So even some of these things make great gift ideas. And because you've made them, it makes it far more personal for the recipient. Um, I know if someone... When someone makes me something, I get really excited. Um, it's those types of things. Like when I just had my birthday, and if you missed it, cordless glue gun, please. Um, it, uh, just for my birthday, my son and his girlfriend came over, and they signed us up for an online paint class. And not only were they thinking of me and what I would enjoy doing, but they did it with me and I couldn't have been happier. It was um, such a fun evening and we had a lot of laughs and it was so special because it was for me. So um, even making something like this for a friend who's had a baby uh, would be really, really special. Now, I, my brush is getting pretty loaded. I just ripped some of my napkin. If you need, want to switch brushes, you can. I'm probably, because I'm going so fast, I'm getting a little bit rough. So I'm just gonna slow down. I do need a little bit more push. Um, slow down, take your time, let it. You can go over anything that rips. This is also too, my hands are very sticky. Um, this is a combination of paint and Mod Podge. Um, my hands are sticky, so they are sticking to what I've already done and may pull some off. So my brush is pulling some off too. So nice, light, light strokes with the brush. Any little pieces that are sticking out, just go back over like that. And I'm just doing a baby's head trying to get in those grooves without ripping in this case you may have wanted to start at the top so that if things are ripping it's down at the bottom where the base is a bit bigger um, I'm, I find it easier to hold it from the top so I work from the bottom up 
it's whatever your preference is. There's really no right or wrong at all for this. So I am going to put another little piece just over his face because it looked a little smeary. That is another thing with, with Mod Podge. If you are globbing it on and then spreading it around, you can make the colors run. Like I said, tissue paper would probably do that fairly quickly. Um, napkins are made to absorb more than tissue paper is, so obviously it's not going to be a smear as much. Now, I can see his ears are ripping there. So I can also just start turning my puppy pen and work like that. You can use a popsicle stick or something to hold them if you don't want to put your fingers on anymore like that. And I can put a few pieces in here. Oh, it's kind of boring to watch. <laughs> boring to watch, I apologize. I normally I would have uh, one already done and have one ready to go to show you how to do it and then just partially do it and show you the result. But um, just saving a little bit of money during COVID here and didn't want to buy two. So just bought one. So I hope you don't mind just working through this with me. I do have a little slit in his ear there that's small. If you have really small pieces, take the pieces that you've already got, cut them a little bit smaller if you need. This is, if your tissue paper, which just happened right now, and you didn't see it because I have it turned the other way, but it folded over as I put it in the crease. It covered the area I needed, so I just much podged over. That's okay that it folded over. So now that I see this, I do may have to get another one for um, the shower gift because this would be really cute in the baby's room. This you can put with any decor. You can have it sitting by itself. You could um, have it with a basket of those little, cute little eggs around some flowers. Um, just even uh, if you have one of those uh, log circles. Um, I was going to bring one up to show you and forgot. Uh, a log circle and make a centerpiece out of it with a bunny, some eggs, some flowers, whatever you like. Push that down there. I do need to get under his nose. So I hope everybody's staying well and staying safe and staying sane. The last one's the hardest right now. So here we go. If if I'm missing any spots, I can take a look around. But there is my bunny with the baby. As you can see, I don't want to lift it up um, because my fingers are sticky and I'll end up ripping it. So today, that's what we made. We made this guy. We made this guy. And don't forget, you can just do little ones with some dry brushing you can do little ones just with a nice chalk paint for that solid white glassy look small little mod podge bunny small small little mass moss bundle <laughs> it's so cute so yeah that's fantastic that these all turned out you got um, eggs to go with it you can throw some flowers um, around your even stick it on whatever you like so I hope you enjoyed this I know it was long I do apologize for that a few little errors along the way but that's what crafting's all about as I always say there's nothing you can't fix so have fun with these super simple little bit of time and um, inexpensive so enjoy Easter and I hope to be back again very soon with another craft thank you